I must admit to finding it kind of weird how some people get triggered, truly triggered, by video games merely featuring diverse characters, and games that have extensive character visual customization options. I mean, if it's a historical game, then it would make sense to limit the characters to what would have been historically accurate. But most of these games that people are talking about are not, are not historical games to begin with. There are some, there are some, but there are so many others that aren't, and people still seem to be perturbed at it. Now, something that annoys a number of gamers, at least that's what some of these more popular gaming channels are talking about, is how so many newer games feature characters that are unattractive. I mean, I find that slightly annoying as well. Not super annoying, but it's just like, well, why are they doing that? Games are supposed to be able to be a form of escapism. Making everyone look mundane is kind of a strange move, in my opinion. People want beautiful or handsome characters. Now, perhaps some of it is a push to try to make games be more realistic, but I just don't think it helps with immersion. It doesn't make the characters any more relatable. It doesn't help people empathize with the characters. These games are still selling decently, but they do get critiqued by some people for these kinds of reasons. I think another push for this is from people who want to control people's fantasies. But let's not mix these things up. Demographical or ethnic diversity does not equal ugly characters. There are people of all ethnic backgrounds who are beautiful or handsome. And if you believe that not to be true, and you think that some ethnicities are ugly and others are pretty, that's an example of a genuinely racist viewpoint. I'm just saying.